Welcome to the first edition of Let's Fix, where we will go through a common debugging session together. Let's get started. For this debugging session, we have a variable in JavaScript called Thing1. It's an array of objects. So there are 10 elements in this array, and each of them are objects with the ID property of numerical order from 1 to 10. So what I wanted to accomplish is to clone this array and then append it to itself to duplicate this array. So I want to have an array of 20 elements with the first 10 with the ID 1 to 10, the second set of 10 also from ID 1 to 10. And then I want to loop through the list of the concatenated list and then add the ID with an increment of 4000 to the value. So at the end of it, I want all of these to be, for instance, this one to be 4001, 4002, and then all the way up to 4010. So I want that to happen for every single element in this array. So first I declare the variable here, and then I can use underscore or lodash to clone the array. This will clone the array to have the exact elements uh, as itself. And then I declare a variable called list, which concatenates the array itself in the original array with the cloned array. So by the end of this, list should contain an array of 20 elements and with the ID 1 to 10 and then another set with ID 1 to 10. So here I do a check to see if the list item sub 0 is equal to list item sub 10. Theoretically, they should be. They should, um, so if we have to check to see if this is, I'll come back to this in a moment. But for now, here's uh, the loop function where I loop through this uh, concatenated array and then try to increment the ID of each item by 4000. So. I want you to pause this video and try to see what you think the output of this council log is. And then at the end, I want you to try to imagine what the council log of here is. So I'll give you a moment. Okay, so now you check, you try to figure out what the output of this program is. I want to show you what it actually is. So let me run this. Hmm. Something's wrong. If you notice, list item 0 is truly equal to list item 10. Why are they equal? Because I don't want them to be equal. There should be two separate sets of uh, arrays that are concatenated together. They should be independent from each other. I don't want them to be equal. And as you can see here, when I'm logging item sub ID, What's going on is, on the first time it goes through it, it's logging it, and then it increments it by 4000. However, by the time I get to the second set, it's actually incrementing, it's actually um, doing it with 4001. That means it incremented the original element in the array, and then it performed an action on that one. So what this is saying is this sub 0 is actually equal to sub 10. And you can see it says true here. So for some reason, this is being uh, referenced by the original elements. So anything I perform to the original elements will now be performed to the cloned elements. So this is definitely not good. We don't want we want the array to be immutable. We don't want to touch the original values. So how do we fix this? Well, if we go to the concat example, the actual function concat that comes with the array function, um, so it does pretty much exactly what we want it to do. Is that it concatenates two sets of array and then put them together to create a new array. Now the, the problem with this program here is this clone function here. So lodash.clone by default, if we look at the documentation, 
it's a shallow clone of a value. So as you can see in the example here, when you do that, you're actually cloning, but you're still making the same reference to the value, to the value in the array. So this is definitely not something we want to do. So in order to, for that to be fixed, there's a function called clone deep. This will not make a shallow clone, and it will actually create an immutable value for it. So let's try that. Now if I run the program again, you can see now when it goes through it, it treats each value in the array element as independent values. So now I, uh, if I cancel log the list at the end, and let me take out this one, it should do exactly what we wanted. Is that 4001, 4010? This is the first set, and then once again 4001, 4010. So, I hope you find this video useful and learn something new. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.